वेलकम टू ग्रेट ऑनलाइन ट्रेनिंग दिस इज नाइडू सो इन दिस आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटीन ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सर्टिफिकेशन क्वेश्चन सो लेट मी जस्ट शो यू वॉट एग्जैक्टली द क्वेश्चन इज ऑन द सेवनटींथ वन सो द क्वेश्चन इज इम्पोर्ट ए सी एस वी फाइल नेम एज ए सेल्स अंडर स्कोर डेटा डॉट सी एस वी इन टू सैस चेक इज देर एनी मिसिंग वैल्यूज इन द डेटा सेट रिप्लेस द मिसिंग वैल्यू इन द रेवेन्यू कॉलम विथ मीडियन सो नाउ द क्वेश्चन सर दिस इज द प्रोसीजर वॉट नीड टू बी डन सो द क्वेश्चन सर हाउ मेनी रिकॉर्ड्स आर इम्पोर्टेड एंड वॉट इज द मीडियन वैल्यू एंड सम ऑफ द रेवेन्यू कॉलम आफ्टर दैट पर्टिकुलर मिसिंग वैल्यूज इज इम्पूटेड विथ मीडियन सो टोटल थ्री क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट लेट मी कंप्लीट एट सो द प्रोसीजर हाउ टू इम्पोर्ट द सी एस वी फाइल इन टू सैस इनवरमेंट The file is already located into this particular uh, uh, location. So let me just open that location here. You can find out the location is sales underscore data CSV file, which is already there. So now my interest is to import this data into SAS environment. So for that, what I will do is first of all I'll go to properties. I'll go to the security. I'll try to copy the path of that file where it is located. So this is the path of the file. So I'm just copying it. Okay. so here also you can take a copy but it won't work so go to general only that's okay that's fine i think you have copied go to your sas the first step what you have to do is just opening a sas software try to write a program to import an external file into sas so what i can do is i can quickly write a program proc means it's a procedure import means you are importing it data equal to Uh, data file. I need to write it. I need to mention the path of that file where it is located. I'll mention the path of that file in this. So after that input, the file name is slash. I need to write it. Uh, the file name I have to write it here. The file name is sales underscore data. So I need to write it. So S C A L E S sales underscore data. When you are typing a file name, make sure the font should be the same. It can be uppercase. Then you have to make sure. to write it on upper case if it is lower case then you need to write it lower case so it is in a csv c s v that is your comma separated values so in the next line d b m s so i'm just writing it so equal to so it is a csv file i'll try to directly write it as a csv and then out equal to the new data set name i'm trying to write it so as let's say sales or something like that i can write it the data set name anything so they have not mentioned anything replace if required so the data set and run the program with this you are trying to import the dictionary data into sas environment that is what our intention is and the file is imported go to libraries and it is successfully imported the sale data set is created five observations and four variables containing a data which is there go to work library the data set is created there you can see the sale region employee id revenue and month wise uh, month wise sale you can see first month january second month and all so i am not worried about the month for time being a revenue column is there first of all what they are asking the question is so according to the powerpoint presentation so here how many records are imported so the record number you can able to find out by looking into the log itself it's clearly saying five observations so, so that the answer is five observations are imported into the sas so the next question is here is uh what is the median value right now i didn't find any median value for it right now so what i can do is to calculate the median value for this data set uh, i'll simply tell to my sas proc i'll try to write it so i'll write it proc means okay so means data equal to your data set name i'm just writing it uh, so i'm writing the data set name as a, as i have already created with the name of sale i'll try to use that okay so then semicolon and run so i need an analysis uh, i need uh, i need an analysis uh, for let it be all the columns in the data set wise uh, let it create it uh, you don't give any specific uh, variable name wise analysis let's create it when you do a proc means you can see employee id wise also month wise also you will get it but you are not worried about it uh, so you need a median value for the revenue but i have a n mean median m n mean standard deviation minimum maximum you are getting it but not the median value you really interested to get your median value you try to write an option called median here so you are going to get your median value now so if you see this uh, the median value is created so that is your 1500 is the median value 
So now you know that uh, the median value in your data is 1500. So what they are asking the question is the second question is here. So what will be the median value? So median value is calculated is 1500. You can write it. Some of the revenue after missing values are imputed. So if you want to get that median values imputations. So as you already know that in a new data set name what you are creating as a sale. Try to create a new data set name as ABC. You try to create a copy of your sale data and what you wanted. If a variable value. So what is the variable name of that one? So that is your revenue variable value. Okay, the variable name in your data set go there and check it the data set. So the revenue variable value is missing. Okay, so my interest is wherever the revenue variable value is missing. Okay, if revenue value is equal to missing, then I'll clearly write it uh, revenue variable value equal to I'll make it 1500. So that uh, wherever it is missing, it is filled with. Uh, okay, so I can get it the revenue column filled with 1500. So as a, the median value already calculated, I know that it's a 1500. I'm taking that I'm directly assigning that value to my median. I think I'm done. So now you can go there. So ABC data set is created. There you can see all the missing values of your revenue is filled with 1500. Wherever it's missing, it's filled with 1500. So now the next question is, we need a sum of all the revenue values. Okay, so we need a sum of all the revenue values after your 1500 is imputed, right? So I can directly write it. Proc means it's a procedure. I'll write it print. I'll directly write it data equal to your data set name. So that is your A, B, C. Sum I will directly write it. For which variable I need a sum? As they're asking it, revenue variable wise, I need a sum. Run the program. So now you can see that uh, the revenue variable sum value is going to be 7800. So this is an answer for third question. So we have done total three questions. Uh, how many records are imputed? Five records. And what is the median value? It is a 1500. And some of the revenue column value after missing values are imputed. So the median, it is going to be 7800. So this is an answer. So it's a one line answer for these three questions. I hope this question will be helpful for you and please let me know if you have any comments or questions on this particular question or you are expecting me to uh, explain anything new. So please let us know until then. So thank you and thank you for watching and be subscribed to my channel for latest upcoming videos and click on the bell icon for more interesting updates. So thank you.